Do you want a new career in 2024? Are you tired of wasting your time on a job that you've clearly outgrown? Well, I can help you. Nicole, aka Sunshine, is a certified career advisor, which means Nicole is professionally trained on how to help you move out of a career that you do not like into a career that you do like. Watch this testimony. I have been in the manufacturing field for a very long time. However, I didn't see any type of growth. I felt stuck. So, me and Nicole, we had got together. We did a career uh, assessment. And she had actually uh, came up uh, with the various uh, careers that I may be interested in. And one that had uh, stuck out was accounting. So now, I have placed my application into a university and I will be starting my master's of degree in accounting next semester. All thanks to Nicole. I can help you too. Let's work together to find a career that's more suitable to your personality, your interests, and your values. Visit my website at careercoachatl.com, book a free discovery appointment, or call or text 470-835-7099. I look forward to speaking with you. Jimmy Jams, Jimmy Jams, welcome to your financial reading. Are we going to have a good financial week? Yes, we are. Let's take a look at some signs that might be fact impacting you this week regarding your finances and your career. You may or may not know your boss's um, sign. I see a Leo for sure. Let's see. I see a Leo impacting your finances. You could have got some money from a Leo. A Leo could owe you some money. Your boss could be a Leo. Leo. Something. Ooh, what popped out on its own? Sagittarius. All right, a Sagittarius. Someone with Sagittarius in their chart is going to be impacting your finances this week. Capricorn. I see a Capricorn. See, these people are going to be taking money, giving money, adding money. Capricorn, this week, for some of you Libras, I mean, for some of you Geminis, I'm sorry. I see an Aries. Okay. I only said Libras because I'm a Libra and there's a Capricorn in my pocket. So that's why I said Libras instead of Geminis. But I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, so I see an Aries and a Taurus. So you guys' money is going to be impacted by these signs. This could represent a person. This could represent a new client. This could represent people who are coming in your life. All right, so this week we have a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, an Aries, and a Taurus. All right, so let's shuffle the cards and see what's going on with your career and your finances this week, and I'm going to read the cards one by one, okay? All right, let's see, what is going on with Gemini career and finances for February? I said this week, huh? Yeah, this week then, we'll keep it for this week. Gemini, 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 career and finances. Oop, okay. Gemini, career and finances. Let's see what is going on for this week, Gemini. All right, the first card we start off is what? The Three of Coins, right on, Tarot. Yeah, we did pick up that energy real fast, huh? I'm going to give you an in-depth reading this week uh, and talk to you much longer than I normally do about the card that just turned over. And... Uh, the card that turned over here is the three of coins. And the three of coins often represents like collaborations, teamwork, 
some way in financial matters. So some of you could be independent contractors. You could be working with other people on a gig or... But the card suggests on one instance that pooling resources, skills, and efforts with others can lead to success and prosperity. It could also indicate um, like a partnership, a joint venue, something that's beneficial financially. Now, as far as uh, another definition of the three of coins, sometimes I read it as quality work, craftsmanship. Like the three of coins symbolizes the importance of producing high quality work and paying attention to detail in financial endeavors. So this is what's going, this is where we're at. This is the first card, where we're at. It suggests that focusing on craftsmanship, see, and excellence will bring financial rewards and recognition. Getting good at what you do, right? The card can also mean that it's time to invest time, effort, or resources into long-term financial goals. So time, effort, and resources into long-term financial goals. Because this card encourages patience and persistence in working towards financial stability and growth. So some of you are working towards financial stability and growth. And they're saying um, that patience and persistence is going to be necessary, right? And, you know, like study your craft, get, get training in your craft, you know, go over your materials, learn something today that every single day you should be learning something new or getting to a higher place with your craft, whether it's working at a job or working for yourself or whatever it is. Yeah, but I don't like that job, child. Well, baby, you need to come see me, honey. I can't help you with that. Sometimes the three of coins represents recognition and reward for hard work and contributions. Cause I've seen that before. I've got, I've pulled the three of coins and the person got rep recognition and a reward for her hard work and contributions. So I do see recognition and reward. I feel like people are going to recognize your work. You might be rewarded with some really good responses to your artwork, really good responses to um, your therapy practice, really good responses to your tarot, your spiritual practice. So I do see recognitions and reward. Uh, I see that happening in the present. Right. I feel that your efforts, usually like the three of coins represents time, patience. So sometimes in due time, sometimes you'll see the three of coins, like just get your craft together, collaborate with others, learn and, and, and do a lot of teamwork. Like you might need to network with other people who do with you what you do in different associations or affiliations, affiliate groups, because that's how you get better and make a name for yourself. Networking. The three of coins could also represent networking, looking into, OK, what what can I join? What would be beneficial to me? Right. But the near, the question is, why do you think the three of coins came up? What does it mean to you? Okay, let's see what the obstacle is, Gemini. Yeah, this is a long career and tarot reading. This is for people who really like career and money. The Queen of Swords, you, huh? It's up to you. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? The Queen of Swords does represent potential challenges. I guess there's something that one Gemini or two needs to do to get the ball rolling. 
Child, get the ball rolling. It says, it dep- I guess it depends on whether or not you pick up your notebook or study or go to the class or takes opportunities that's available for you. But sometimes the queen of swords can have a, like a Virgo energy where there is a tendency to be overly critical or harsh in your judgments, either towards yourself or others in your professional environment. This may hinder your ability to collaborate in a team effort. Sometimes this card may guard, it may talk about, it may guard against being too emotionally detached or distant at work or with your clients or in your career. You know, I cannot stand a cold customer service. I just don't like coldness when I'm spending my money. You better be nice to me, honey. Giving you my $20. Can you loan me $20 till I get my check next week? Who's that, y'all? Y'all know nothing about Angie Stone's $20. Don't act like you do. I feel like somebody is, I feel like you're kind of just a little bit too detached, maybe from clients or your job. Maybe you're like, take this job and shove it. And you're not, you might be just a little bit too emotionally detached from your customers, your clients, and, and that, that's going to be the challenge. Sometimes the, um, the challenge is communications. When we see the queen of swords here there, for some of you, there might be a need, um, to work on improving your communication skills or resolving conflicts that arise. This card can also represent um, inflexibility. Maybe you need to be a little bit more open-minded and adaptable to new ideas, changes, or opportunities. So, but the Queen of Swords is an awesome energy. She represents strong intellect and analytical ability, but relying too heavily on logic and reason without considering emotional intelligence or intuition can present obstacles in understanding and navigating, you know, your clients, your customers, your colleagues here. Basically, overall, when I see the Queen of Swords here as the obstacle, it suggests that there is a need to balance intellect with empathy and communication skills with emotional intelligence, right? And objectivity with flexibility, basically to overcome any challenges and achieve success in your career. Let me give you an example. So which one should I give you? Which one? Okay. (coughs) Excuse me. I was tutoring yesterday. I'm available for private tutoring. If you want to learn how to read the tarot and that information is in the description box. And, um, This girl lives in a part of the country where it's so cold that some people are being forced out of their apartments because pipes are bursting and, you know, there's problems with with, a lot of people are having plumbing problems during this, uh, this Arctic weather we're having. And so while, so she told me what happened and, um, then it was time to tutor, right? Well, my intellectual brain doesn't really think about feelings very often. But because I've been training at this new place and they talk about developing empathy with the client, I thought about what it would feel like to be in her shoes. And I said, you know what? I'm really sorry that that's happening to you, that you lost your home and your security and your peace of mind and your independence, your cave. I'm so sorry. 
And you know what she said? She goes, I really appreciate you saying that. So I think like that's an ex, but normally Gemini's to keep it 100, I would be so focused on let's get through this lesson that I wouldn't have practiced empathy. I think that might be, um, you know, one of the things I just felt like somebody just understood very deeply what I was saying. Okay. So what is manifesting in the current right now? Oh, the world is manifesting. Okay. That's a sense of fulfillment, completion, and I read it as integration. So if this is manifesting in your current circumstances, it's like there, there's a completion, a, a culmination of a significant phase or journey in your life, like a completion, or you may have recently even achieved a major milestone or reached a long-term goal and it's bringing a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment for some of you. Or this is what is manifesting as we speak. Ruled by Saturn. So some of these good things are here to stay. You did it. That's what the world means sometimes. You did it. You were able to, sometimes the world is like integration that I read it as integration. Like you were able to balance, harmonize various aspects of your life, like career, finances, relationship, personal development. And uh, some of you might be even feeling a sense of balance and alignment with yourself and your surroundings. Again, we have this, we have two cards representing success or acknowledgement for something, recognition. We have two cards, so I don't know how soon this will happen, but I definitely see recognition here. I definitely see rewards. This is the second time, and now it's coming up as a major, so that's some major shit. Right. So sometimes the world can suggest that your efforts and your hard work are being recognized and celebrated. <laughs> yes, your effort. Isn't that wonderful? Your efforts and your hard work. Somebody is going to recognize them and celebrate them. They're going to say, Gemini, thank you so much. You did such an amazing job. I feel so much clearer now. I feel that I have a path that's going to lead me or whatever. I feel this is the most beautiful garment I've worn in a long time. Whatever the case is. People are going to be celebrating and recognize, and maybe it could be your boss. Maybe it could be your clients. Maybe you're a tarot reader. People will be like, that is so accurate. Thank you so much for helping me see the light, see the light, see the light. You might literally be receiving an award or accolades. Right. Somebody might write a good write up under some type of maybe they might write up a good write up, a good review. Maybe you sell on Fiverr, Fiverr, whatever. I see positive feedback for your achievement in your career. So I see that your efforts and hard work are going to be celebrated and acknowledged. And you might even, like I said, receive positive feedback for your career endeavors. You might receive accolades. You might even get somebody might even send you um, some, what is, what's that called? Some business. So I see with the world here, sometimes for me, it represents like a broader perspective. You know, you might be experiencing a broader perspective in a sense of uh, in, in your career. You know, maybe you you are open to new opportunities. You're broadening what you're willing to do now. Right. Maybe there are, like I said, new opportunities. Let's get this clear. On the horizon, there could be new opportunities on the horizon. But I feel that you're open 
to new opportunities and possibilities. And you may be exploring different avenues for growth and development this week. You might talk with the coach. You might talk with the financial advisor. Now, the world also, for me, um, indicates the beginning of a new cycle because it's the completion of one cycle. And it's a major arcana. And majors are big enough to have two meanings, you know, associated. So this is ending and beginning. But it's a great beginning because it's a, a beginning that has a sense of accomplishment tied to it. A long, like Saturn, this has been a long goal. This has been long coming. You wanted this job. You tried to work at this company for a long time. You've tried to get this degree for a long time. Something took a long time and it's finally here or it's coming. And this is what's manifesting. It's a new cycle or it's the beginning of a new phase in your life journey. This is what's manifesting. You're getting ready to embark on a new adventure. So set higher goals or pursue new opportunities that will further enrich your career. That's what some of you are doing. But um, as we move on to the next card... She sips. The world to me just suggests that you're in a phase of fulfillment, integration, expansion in your current circumstances. There's a sense of completion, celebration of your achievements too, while remaining open to new beginnings and opportunities that lie ahead. Lie ahead. So there's some good shit happening. Two cards of recognition. Just remember to to treat your customers. Let them know if their if their dog died. I'm so sorry to hear that your dog died. I'm so sorry to hear that. Before you start talking business, how is your daughter in college? That's so good to hear. You know, get some empathy with your business some emotional intelligence here because people have emotions, all right? So what is manifesting at the foundation of your career and finances? The Knight of Swords, whoa, somebody is ambitious. I mean, somebody is mentally ambitious. This is your card. You're coming in twice in your own financial reading. So that lets me know that there is a concentrated energy in that direction from the Gemini placements. There's a strong concentrated energy. You're really looking at your finances and making very strong decisions. But the Knight of Swords embodies ambition, determination, and a strong drive to succeed in career and financial pursuits. I do feel that you have some clear goals, and I also feel that some of you are fiercely, fiercely committed to achieving them. Often, because usually with the Knight of Swords, like in the Rider Waite, the horse, and whenever you see a horse in the Tarot, there's movement happening in that direction. But this man is a damn pilot. <laughs> is he? Is he? This man is on the go. So there's a sense of urgency and decisiveness. Like this is the result that I'm aiming for. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to get. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. And there's a sense of urgency and there's a sense of no nonsense about this. Because with the Knight of Swords energy, you're someone who takes bold and decisive action to advance your career and financial interests. You're not afraid to pursue opportunities aggressively with the Knight of Swords energy or to overcome obstacles in your path. 
I see quick thinking and I see strategic planning. You need to plan strategically. Some of you already are, but maybe you need to sit down and, and write out, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I feel that you're really good with analyzing situations, making rapid decisions, and then adapting to changing circumstances in your professional and financial endeavors. You're very ambitious. It looks like effective communication is the key to your success with the Knight of Swords um, as the foundation in a reading about career and finances. And the Swords represents intelligence and communication. So with the Knight of Swords as the foundation, effective communication is going to be the key to your success, to your success with empathy, with emotional intelligence with how you doing today there is this reader she's just so sweet i just watch her because she's sweet i don't even list i don't even know what she'd be talking about but she's just so sweet you know she's emotionally appealing and that's what they're saying in your business with your clients with your colleagues with your boss be emotionally uh, appealing that's the obstacle here because we don't unless you have cancer scorpio or pisces in your chart air signs are not really known to be emotional so i see you articulating your ideas advocating for yourself i see you negotiating deals or contracts to further your career and financial goals i also see that you're willing to take calculated risk in pursuits of your ambitions Right. I do see, you know, with the Knight of Swords, you may challenge, you may encounter challenges, of course, or even opposition along the way. But you're going to be undeterred and willing to push forward boldly to achieve your success. So that's what's at the bottom of your career right now. Some of you are very ambitious. You just completed something. You're in this new journey, new phase. There's a sense of fulfillment with it. And you're being recognized for your achievements or your rewards. And you're very good at what you do. More, more import, most importantly, I don't understand. On one end, they're saying you're not emotional. But then on the other end, they're saying you're fulfilled. I mean, fulfilled is a very strong emotion. <laughs> you know? Hey, I think I get it, but I definitely see that um, overall with this Knight of Swords energy here as a foundation, it indicates that your situation is built upon a strong sense of ambition, action, intellect, and communication skills. And by harnessing these qualities effectively, you're going to be well positioned to pursue your goals with vigor and achieve success in your professional and financial endeavors because you you want it you want it you want this and that's why you're going to achieve what you want because of your ambition all right, let's see what the next card is. This is the near future. What do we have? Oh, excuse me. This is what's behind you. Recent past. Six of Swords. I don't care about the past. Let's move to the uh, future. Near future. Is, oh, good. Look. The near future is the Six of Wands. The Six of Swords just saying you've come to a better place emotionally. You're helping people. Some of you are going to help people cross over to a new path. <coughs> like I can help you cross over from one career path to the next. Right? It looks like your near future shows victory. The Six of Wands. The Six of Wands suggests a period, too. I didn't know that I had been studying the cards lately. And, oh my God, we're at 28 minutes. I'm not anywhere near done. <sighs> Maybe I should stop it and just start the recording in the next. Because it only gives you 29 minutes before it stops. Yeah, I'm going to stop it. 
So again, the near future is the six of wands. Look at this card. This man hands are in the air. He's standing a little higher than the rest of the people. So again, you may receive some type of promotion, praise, awards, public recognition for contributions in your career or financial endeavors. This card indicates that your accomplishments are likely to be acknowledged and celebrated by others. Now we have three cards saying that Jupiter and Leo, we have Saturn, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Strong earth placements could be around you or could be affecting your, um, your houses or your transitions in astrology. Six of Wands is in your future. And you're likely to experience like maybe even a boost of confidence this week and self-assurance as you see your efforts paying off. You'll, you're going to feel proud of your achievements and even empowered. You're going to feel proud and empowered to pursue even greater success in the future. So with the six of wands in front of you, you're definitely on a path to continued growth. That's great and advancement in your career and finances. Your recent success uh, with the Six of Wands is going to propel you forward with positive momentum, opening up new opportunities, that's what I'm seeing, and possibilities for, again, expansion. Remember, we were talking about expansion earlier. For expansion here, and prosperity. So you might be stepping into a leadership or a leadership role or gaining influence within your industry or community. Your success inspires others and positions, positions you as a role model. That's what I'm feeling here. That's what I'm hearing. Role model. Some of you are just going to be a role model or even an authority figure in your field. That's what's coming to you. But overall, the Six of Wands in the near future talks about a period of recognition, advancement, success, victory in your career and your financial pursuits. Just be sure to embrace your success with humility and confidence. And I see you using the, it to propel you towards even greater achievements, you know, in the days to come. Okay. The next spread, I mean, the next uh, card is who are you being? The King of Cups. Now that's so damn confusing because first they say you're too cold. Then they say you're being emotional. What? I don't understand. <laughs> This is who you're becoming. This is what's manifesting. So you didn't really need to hear all that stuff about the Queen of Swords because you, what's manifesting is you are integrating compassion and diplomacy into your professional life. Compassion. For instance, this girl came and got a reading and she said, I can't stop thinking about this man. And... I'm wondering, is he trying to manifest me? Because this is not like me. And so I got some information, found out that they had exchanged numbers and IGs. Or, uh, yeah, Instagram uh, information. So I asked her, well, has he been calling you? And she goes, no, from time to time, but I never feel like this. And, you know, he told me about my sexual energy. And, well, friends, I don't, I didn't really, I, I mean, how do you, so I let her come to her own conclusions. And I asked her questions instead. Well, what is it about this guy that turns you on so much? And she lists all these things. And, and I said, it sounds like your dream man. And one of the things she said later on in the conversation was one of the things that turned her on about that man was that he was dominant and he had leadership qualities. I said, oh, that does sound fascinating. You know, I gave her emotional support. 
I said, however, from your own admittance of him having leadership qualities and being dominant, it appears to me that he has the ability to call you and to take you out and to express an interest since he possessed those qualities. And if he's not doing that and he's only talking about your sexual energy, then that shows you where his interest lies. But, uh, sh- sh- She said, that's all I needed to hear. But, you know, if I would have just came out and said that without using emotional intelligence, without using empathy and compassion, she wouldn't have heard that. She was really in her head. She thought that the reason that she was obsessed with this man was because he was manifesting her, right? And I let her come to her own conclusions by the answers that she gave. Right? And so hopefully that helps somebody. I don't know. Let's move on. I'm sorry. Anyway, you may, I feel that some of you are going to be using a lot of that emotional balance and, st- and emotional stability. Right? Because the King of Cups represents you maintain emotional balance and stability in your finances and career pursuits. I see you approaching challenges with a very calm and composed demeanor, allowing you to make rational decisions, even in high pressure situations this week. I also see you exhibiting empathy and understanding towards others in your professional interactions. And this is happening as we speak. So this has already been happening for some of you. Others of you, it will be happening as the week progresses, right? Because the King of Cups is very diplomatic. He uses a lot of diplomacy. So whether you're dealing with a colleague, a client, a business partner, you know, customers, I see you prioritizing listening to their concerns and perspectives. And I see you fostering positive relationships and collaborations this week. I see this week you're going to be really good at resolving conflicts negotiating agreements and even in a leadership role that I see some of you going on you're going to lead with compassion and integrity and you inspire trust and loyalty amongst your clients your team members your colleagues by showing genuine care for their well-being and fostering a supportive work environment where everyone feels valued and respected All right. So what are the outer influences here? What are the outer influences? Ooh, the devil. A Capricorn, maybe we saw a Capricorn earlier. Maybe some of you have children that stay in your pocketbook. The devil on its own can represent obsession, materialism, greed, temptation. It could represent addictions that lead to excessive spending. It could lead to debt or excessive spending or a focus on material possession at the expense of long-term financial health. Right? Gambling, overspending, addictive patterns that undermine financial stability and career progress. But the devil could also represent you um, are a reader. Okay. It could also symbolize a toxic or unhealthy work environment that negatively influences your career. This could include like politics, sexual harassment, unethical practices, or cultural, culture uh, discrimination, exploitation, something that compromises your well-being or professional growth. There could be, you know, some external things going on. 
Also, the devil can represent bondage of some kind, like external pressures or constraints that limit your financial or career opportunities like child support, paying back your taxes, paying your taxes, paying bills, oppressive debt, contractual obligation, restrictive circumstances that hinder your ability to achieve your goals with that devil there. Or this could just represent that you're in a situation now where you feel trapped or controlled by external forces, which is kind of like preventing you from pursuing your aspirations or making independent decisions. Overall, the devil as an outer influence, it suggests the presence of negative or challenging influences in your financial or career environment. And it's essential right? To recognize these influences, including myself, and take proactive steps to address them, rather by setting boundaries, seeking support, or making changes to improve your situation and regain control over your finances and health. I mean, finances and career path. And finally, the outcome. Is there enough room to put the outcome there? I'm going to have to put it in the middle. What do we have? I hope it's the Wheel of Fortune. The Six of Cups. Oh. That's an odd card to be the outcome. Huh. A lot of people from the past. I see a very sweet... I feel like you're really a sweet person. I think you're going to be a sweetheart this week with your job, right? But the Six of Cups um, often represents the past, reflecting on the past, revisiting old memories, nostalgia, right? Um, it could represent people from the past getting your services, Right. It could represent, uh, indicate a period of reflection on past financial decisions, career choices, or s with this world here, something that you've wanted to do since you were a child. Now you're doing, or you've done it. Maybe you've always wanted to go zip lining and the world is here because you finally did it, or it could be, it could represent your career, but, um, The six of cups to me can, because the six is this, a stable and solid number, um, the six of cups can to me mean financial stability and security. It suggests that um, maybe you'll find comfort and contentment in your current financial situation through the support of family or by revisiting tradition or, or revisiting some old way you might go you might go back to some old way that you used to make money you might get an old job or you used to do this on the side a long time ago and now you start doing it again you start you know um doing a uh, hypothetically like in my industry maybe you are full-time youtuber but now you're reading for miss cleo and you did that before in the past it's something that is coming back from the past financially that you've done before this uh, yeah this could indicate uh, definitely a a return to a career path or financial endeavors that bring you joy and fulfillment, though, on a deep level. See, we got that fulfillment card again with the world. Fulfillment on a deep level. You, some of you are drawn to work that aligns with your passions or childhood dreams, leading you to a sense of satisfaction and deep emotional fulfillment. Also, um, the Six of Cups could represent generosity, giving back to the community. You might be doing some pro bono work, or you may not necessarily be charging for your work, or you might be doing, I see the coins there, so money is coming, though. That's, I remember the Three of Coins was here. So, money is coming. Money is here. 
but some of you might be doing things to get the experience and it's something that you've wanted to do for a long time but I see some of you giving back to your community or supporting loved ones financially or finding fulfillment through acts of kindness and altruism, you know. Now, it could also represent like emotional healing. I've seen that before in reconciliation. You could reconcile with your with a boyfriend, with a husband who got money. In the context of finances or career, it suggests that resolving past emotional wounds or conflicts related to security will be essential for moving forward with greater peace of mind and stability. Because with that devil card there, there's some, there's some type of disturbance. And that's called being human. But overall, the Six of Cups as the outcome is uh, indicates like a focus on emotional fulfillment, stability, and reconnecting with what truly matters to you. And it's even encouraging you to find joy and contentment in your financial and career pursuits by embracing Things that maybe you wanted to do when you were a child. Maybe you wanted to be a doctor. Maybe you wanted to be a chiropractor. Maybe you wanted to be an actor. Some of you are going back to something that you love and you're having great fulfillment as you are honing in on your craft and perfecting it and you have the determination that's going to propel you forward. And as you move forward, I see victory because you're going to be a very nice person, empathetic with other people empathetic with your clients and your customers you're learning how to um, take away that sword energy and replace it with empathy is something that's manifesting now okay all right so your love reading is going to is either up now or will be up and thank you for uh, listening. If you need some career counseling or career coaching, meaning that you want to transition from one career to the next, I'm your girl. And it's very affordable. Go ahead and go to my website, um, which is Career Coach ATL, which is Career Coach Atlanta, CareerCoachATL.com. Book a free assessment. It's a 20 minute assessment to see if I can help you. And if so, we'll decide what we're going to do from there, okay? All right. You can trust your girl. I've been here for six years now. How long have you been here, child? All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed your reading and God bless.